My name is James. I'm 40 years old, and I have mysterious growths on the back of my leg and my lower abdomen. When I was eight years old, I had a baseball injury to where I got hit in my lower abdomen. I had to have surgery, and the area where they cut me it developed like these little bumps, and the bumps started getting bigger. Right now, it's very, very heavy, close to five pounds. The next growth that popped up was on the right side of my leg. It started out as just a pimple. Eventually, they just started growing, getting bigger and bigger and, and bigger. A lot of deep crevices in it kind of look like an old, dried up brain. It feels like it weighs between six to seven pounds. It's like having a bowling ball strapped onto your leg. And about two to three years ago, I had a new growth to pop up here on my upper thigh area. There's a lot of things going on. My growths are a mystery. I've seen multiple doctors, even after the CAT scans and MRIs, they make promises that they'll call back when they figure something out, and they just don't call back. The most bothersome area for me would be the large growth I have on my right leg, because the constant weight is like a 1,000 needles stabbing into your leg is kind of how it feels. I had to try to open up the gaps here, get down off in there, get it clean. I have to clean the growth every single day to help keep the infections down because the lobes that's on it, the skin will actually die or rot off. When it does that, it's an open sore for the most part of it. Well, there's one here, and the skin had died all the way off all that dude right there. I have had a staph infection in it. My white blood cell count was out of the roof, and I had to stay in the hospital for about three days getting antibiotic through the IV. So my biggest fear is just this could potentially, you know, take me out, kill me or something. There you go. My wife, Leslie, she's very supportive. She doesn't want to lose me to an infection. She doesn't want to see me down. Uh, all right, one more shot, and daddy gonna be done, okay? My leg hurts, baby. Oh. Good job, girl. Good job, Kennedy. I have a daughter named Kennedy. She has a heart condition. She has had five open heart surgeries. You want to go play your switch? Yeah. This condition restricts me from being able to run and play with Kennedy, and she needs a dad. She, she needs me to be there for her. I could tell that you were tired. Yeah, yeah, the legs bother me as usual. It's a pain to just live on a day-to-day -day basis, but, you know, I have to for my family. But I, I am concerned because the last time you was in the hospital, um, it was very, it was hard to see you. You know, and I worry about that sometimes, like, will you set up another infection? You know, you are my world, you're, you're Kennedy's world. We would be completely lost. This is the oldest one. On your lower abdomen. Yes, ma'am. Holy crapola. Oh, my goodness. So this is a super pubic area is what I would say. It's like the junction between our upper abdomen and the pubic area. Yes, ma'am. So all the stuff that makes you XY, you know, makes you male yeah. is below this. Right. This is very firm well, and very Well, the funny heavy. thing about it, I used to have a motorcycle. Oh, OK. The vibration from right. it would make this go flat. So it doesn't work anymore? Does it happen anymore? I don't have a motorcycle no more. I've never seen anybody with something like this, and I don't really understand how vibration can change this. I have no idea what sort of diagnosis this is. James is proving to be quite a mystery. The biggest one I have, of course, is here on my oh, okay. leg here. Uh-oh, OK, because that one was pretty big. Whoa. OK. This is a newer growth that I have here. Th that's how they start out. Right. Because that leg, even without those growths, is bigger than the other leg. Right. Interesting. So have you ever seen anything like this before? I have not seen anything like it. Wow. We've heard that a lot. You know, when you see like bumps like this and you see them in the groin area, you're gonna think about a genital wart. So that's what maybe this is, a giant genital wart. 
but also there is something called elephantiasis nostra verrucaformis. Some people get a lot of lymphatic swelling and there's blockage there. And you had surgeries that may have damaged the lymphatic system, which helps to take the toxins in our body and flush them from our body, right? It's getting rid of like a lot of excess swelling. So maybe this is a side effect from poor lymphatic drainage. But first things first, is let's take a biopsy. Hello. Hi. Hello. So I've got more information for you, but I think there's like a lot of mysteries here still, you know? I feel like when I first saw you, mm -hmm. I thought initially that this was a giant genital wart, but your biopsy results show you have lymphedema. Okay, so the lymphatic system is responsible for really kind of taking the the, the toxins or the trash out, I suppose, right? Yes. It's sort of like a beaver comes up and builds their own dam somewhere, like in a stream, right? Now the stream, the lymphatics can't bring the water flow back and it backs up. And then what does it do? It seeps into the land around it, right? So that's what it's doing. It's seeping into your skin. So you're getting waterlogged skin essentially. Hmm. And even if we were to try to remove all those girls, they're gonna come right back because we have to figure out where that dam is, and then we have to break open that dam and get this fluid properly out. Flowing. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the person that can do that for you. Let me see if I can find somebody that is a true expert in this. You need to see a lymphatic specialist. And in the meantime, you know, I think getting something that can vibrate the area. And if it brings that lymphatic drainage down, that's freaking awesome, yeah, right? it's huge. Mm -hmm. Because maybe that helps to shake that fluid to, mm -hmm. to really get absorbed again. Right. That lymphatic system is blocked up, so by shaking the area, you're really kind of helping to get that fluid to disperse. So I think that there's a good chance that he can use some kind of vibration-assisted device to really encourage the movement of this fluid out of the area. What I would love to do is actually measure your circumference in different areas and compare them, because this is a really good way to monitor. Yeah. We've gotten farther here than we ever have. Anywhere, yeah. And I appreciate it. That's that. huge. Just okay. hearing the information you're giving us yeah. is, is very, very helpful. Thank you so much. Even though Dr. Lee wasn't able to cut things off, I am extremely excited with the information that she's given me. You know, considering that we have been pretty much in the dark, I feel like Dr. Lee has given me the, the answers that we've been looking for.